Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Sean Anthony. Listen, fam, you are here for Extra Credit Fridays. And what I like so much about this segment of the show, this is where we go back. We revisit those iconic conversations. Yo, fam, and today I'm back with none other than one of my favorite guests of all time from episode 42, Ed Milet. This was obviously one of the first biggest interviews I've ever done where I flew to Laguna Beach and sat down on the couch where he's interviewed some of every body we're talking about from gary v from gerard adams from jasmine star so many amazing people that we look up to today and this episode changed my life this is when i realized proximity changes everything so sit back and enjoy this week's extra credit friday with none other than the guy himself ed mylett and finally my dad came home my dad got sober Okay. Which That's was great. That's great. My dad comes home from an AA, literally comes home from an AA meeting and okay. goes, hey, I got you a job. And I'm like, what is it? Like, I'm being picky. He's like, you don't get to pick. You're unemployed, dude. You need to get a job. With my college degree, living at home, he goes, it's at McKinley Home for Boys. I'm like, what is that? He goes, I don't know, but go there tomorrow. Tim's hiring you from my meeting. Oh, wow. And I go tomorrow. This changed my whole life. I walk in and McKinley is in San Dimas, California. I walk in there. I go, hey, I'm here for the job. And the lady's like, what job? I go, I don't know, my dad sent me here. She's like, well, I don't know who your dad is, but you need to figure, what job? And I go, I don't know. She goes, well, why don't you come back when you know what the job is? I'm like, okay. So I get to the door, I'm like, if I go home, my father's gonna kill me. I'm like, look, I need this job, lady. She's like, well, do you even know who's hiring you? I'm like, no. She goes, how do I help you? I don't know the job. I go, well, his name's Tim. She goes, that's not gonna help. I go, well, he must be an alcoholic because he was with my dad. Oh, drunk Tim! <laughs> right? And she goes, oh, go to Cottage 8. That's where he is. And I walk in Cottage 8, and I didn't know it. I get, look at this. I get chills. I walk through the front door of Cottage 8, and my whole life changed in that instant. I open the door. There's 10 boys running around screaming, get ready for school. My boys were 8 to 10 years old. McKinley's a campus of group homes. Hundreds of boys, all orphans, all wards of the court. So my boys were 8 to 10. Their parents were either dead, incarcerated, or had molested them. Oh wow. And so now I'm instantly with these boys and all these boys wanted is they wanted someone to love them, believe in them, care about them, show them how to live their life better. And these boys, I have this theory, man, when you come from a dysfunctional family or an abusive family, your eyes are a little different. You have these eyes. I don't know how to explain it, but when you, you just know, people know what I'm talking about right now. And these boys all had those eyes. So did I, I had them. And I learned in that moment, like my whole life's been happening for me, not to me. All my dad's drinking, all the anxiety as a little boy, all this stuff prepared me for this moment. In fact, if my dad didn't drink, he wouldn't have been at the AA meeting, he wouldn't have got me the job. And if I didn't grow up with my dad the way he was, I couldn't connect with these boys the way I did. And my life changed from being this athlete who was super driven by ego and winning and you're the greatest and you're the best and you're gonna be famous. All of a sudden, my life was about helping these boys, contributing, loving them, believing them. And it's ironic, I'm 48 years old next month, yeah. and I've spent my whole business life doing nothing but that. Loving people, believing them, coaching them, mentoring them, teaching them how to live better. I literally, God sent me in that group home with those beautiful boys to prep me for business. Yeah. So I'm the one dude I know, when I finally went into my business life after McKinley, I did not go, I can tell you honestly, I did not go in to make millions of dollars. I literally have always tried to be in a business where I could help someone, contribute, believe in them, love in them, and the monetization piece always came after. Wow. And it's flipped my whole life. So I spent 25, 30 years in business doing what I did at McKinley. It formed my whole life. It changed my whole life. And some of those boys are still in my life. So all that stuff happened for me, not to me. All of it. What's, what's one of the greatest things you've learned mm -hmm. from helping out all of those young boys? Everybody, well, I learned a lot, um, but I'll say this, everybody wants someone to believe in them. And no matter where you come from, some of my boys, I came from, I told you, we talked about where we both grew up, and yeah. we both didn't grow up in perfect environments or wealthy environments, but let me tell you something, man. God doesn't make uh, deficient products. And these boys who came from, imagine you're an eight-year-old boy, and you spent the last six years having your uncle and your dad molest you every day. You know, you missed a bunch of meals. You'll never know your dad again. You're living in a group home with eight other boys. You don't think very highly of yourself. And you know what I learned about these boys? 
God wants them to win too. Those dudes deserve to win and be successful and contribute and change the world. And God chose those dudes to win as much as they choose any dude growing up in the perfect family and the perfect environment with the great mom. And some of you listeners have the great mom and dad. That's awesome, man. What a blessing. Some of you don't have a great mom or a great dad. And guess what? That does not mean you're not chosen to win. Doesn't mean you're not favored. You got to find a mentor. You got to find someone to believe in you. And when people believe in one another, man, there's a, there's, it sounds hokey, but I've, I'm a product. I'm sitting here. We're looking at the ocean right now. It's crazy. This is one of five homes, and there's jets and all these other things in my life. I'm a product because great people believed in me. Great people mentored me. They gave me a shot. I busted my ass at winning, right? I tried. I've outworked everybody, but I'm not deluded into thinking that God didn't have his hand on my life, that there's not favor, there's not blessing in my life. And I'm a product of a lot of great people believing in me, just like I believed in those boys. It's, it's so crazy you saying that because... I think what people forget, fail to realize is that by having a mentor, mm -hmm. you're going to get to that destination so much quicker than you even imagine. It speeds it up. And the other thing, today's day and age, you know, I'm old. Man. Like when I was young, I'd listen to some Tony Robbins tapes in the back of the, you know, whatever. Now you can get a mentor. I mean, the best mentors like what we're doing. Yeah. It's the, the highest form of influence comes from proximity. So the closer you can get to somebody, the greater influence they have over you, right? So don't don't discount getting close to somebody. But so the bet, like that's with your kids. If you have kids, your teachers are kind of mentors, yeah. but who really influence your kids? They're friends. You yeah. worry about who they hang around. So how who, who's the closest to them who influence them? But now what's amazing is, and I'm not saying just this with me, but you can get access to someone like me who's built multiple businesses, hundreds of millions of dollars. I understand how the brain and faith, all of it connect, and you can get access to them every day on Instagram, every yes. day on their podcast, yes. every day on YouTube. It's amazing today. Now, that's not proximity, but what you do get with me is repetition. You can see me every single damn day, and so what you want to do is have virtual mentors who are these huge influencers on your life, and then work every day to find someone closer to you who can be in your proximity who can help you too. But today, like, it's amazing who you can get access to. I had nobody. Now you can get access to the best people in the world. They post stuff every day. And guys like me, I don't just post like a video on my jet. I'm like, let me tell you how I got my jet. Yeah. Let me tell you what I think about. Let me tell you how my mind works. Let me tell you my morning routine. Let me tell you how the brain works. Let me tell you how I influence people, how I speak, how I think. Like I literally detailed teach what I do because I spent the first 45 years of my life kind of building my life. Yeah. You know, working hard, building my net worth, coaching athletes, entertainers, business people, building companies, speaking on stage, all that. And I'm like, you know what? Tony Robbins told me this. Why don't you spend the second half of your life teaching everybody else how to do it in theirs? And so that's what I do now. Like, and I, you know this. I, yeah. Right when you were here, there's another group leaving, right? Yeah. Guys been on my show before, very successful guys. Like, right. whatever I can do to help someone. That's why we're doing this today. Like, your show's blowing up, right? You've had some great people on your show. It's like, if I could reach one person listening to this today, they're like, Hey man, my dad was a drunk too, or my dad wasn't in my life, or my mom's alcoholic, or you know, I never thought about the fact that because my family's not perfect, I could win too, right? Yeah, like everybody here can win if you get the right business, the right mentor, the right model, the right thinking, the right execution. I don't care your background, your sexual preference, your religion, your ethnicity. That stuff's neutralized when you're an entrepreneur. You could win at any level, being anybody in this world. Hey, what's up, fam? Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We'll see you next week here at School's Over Now What. And always remember, dream it, believe it, go out and get it.